so let's get into the tankless water heater. Uh, and the main principal difference is on a water heater, tank water heater, you're constantly heating that tank. Now, I say constantly, you know, they're, they're pretty efficient. It may only kick on once an hour to heat up the temperature or, you know, maintain it when it's not in use. Uh, if you're using it a lot, obviously it's heating more, but a tankless water heater, it heats the water as you're using it. So you're only paying to heat water you're using. Correct. It's an on-demand water heater. It's not an instant water heater like we get that with customers a lot. They're expecting instant hot water out of their faucets. That's not the case. It's an on-demand water heater. So it sits idle until you open a faucet for hot water. So you're not wasting any energy between cycles. It's instantly heating it, but yes. just like your tankless water heater, it still has to travel from where the water heater is to whatever faucet you're using. Correct. So if that line hasn't been used in 12 hours, all the hot water that was previously in that line is now cool. So you've you still got to wait for that to flush Correct. out. Right. And of course, to combat that, you can use a recirculation system. So, and we'll get into that because you can use those on both types of water heater, tank or tankless. Correct. The uh, only thing you can't can't is on the hybrid. You can't use recirculation on the hybrids. Okay. Uh, they just won't keep up with the demand. Okay. Good to know. And um, how often are, are the hybrids being used? I mean, it, um, it's a very low percentage at this point. Um, in the future, they're going to be more prevalent because the tanked water heater efficiency isn't going to meet the standards in a few years. So hybrid and tankless is going to be the only options really out there. Rosie, Rosie on the house, every Arizona homeowner's best friend. 